Bit more Barcelona drama? Why not? Let's take it back to March, shall we? And this is what Joanna Laporta had to say about the possibility of signing Neymar. We tried to sign him, and at that moment, this was after he was elected in March, it seemed like an interesting signing. He got in contact. He was crazy about coming. We interpreted fair play in another way at that time. If we had known all the rules, we would not have made that offer. This is bonkers. Jules still with us. Gab Marcotti joins the show as well. Why not? Why not try and sign Neymar as well, Gab? Uh, why not? I mean, you know, you just came in and, you know, he only earns... Uh, we worked this out the other day on, on the Gab and Jules show. It's something like $50 million a year. Um, you actually went and you campaigned on how disheveled the club's finances were. You, you left it until the end of the season to even attempt to, to re-sign Lionel Messi before coming up and saying, no, we can't afford to do it. And then you come out and you say something like this. Even if it's true, and I, I really find it hard to believe that, you know, a sentient adult would go and try to do this, somebody, let alone somebody who runs one of the most historic clubs in the world, uh, you wouldn't come out and share this now, knowing what we know now, knowing what happened in the summer, knowing that the Super League didn't magically materialize and then somebody cut you a gigantic check to, to bail you out. Um, you know, fair play as we understood it. You know what? If you don't understand financial fair play, get some nerd accountant with glasses who can explain it to you. I, I find this to be absolutely grotesque, whether he's talking about, you know, the, the La Liga's version with, with a salary cap, whether, you know, the fee, uh, uh, UEFA's version, which is going to come back. I mean, it's absolute, absolute madness. And on top of that, Neymar, of course, is still under contract. So you would have had to go and negotiate with Paris Saint-Germain, who, as we know now, aren't exactly short on money to the point that they can turn down $200 million for Mbappe. So I, I don't know. You tell me. I, I, Jules, I, I, I don't know where to begin. Uh, Jules, where would you like to begin? Embarrassing? I think embarrassing is a good word. Embarrassing that the Barcelona president doesn't understand the rules, doesn't know the rules, no one is telling him the rules, no one is explaining him the rules. And then embarrassing, I mean, come on, you and Laporta. What's, what's next with Laporta? What, what, what can he come up with next? What, Dan Thomas as the next manager? Or Stevie Nicol as his assistant, like Gab and I up front with Memphis Depay? I mean, what, what's next? This is just... With what money? What, with what money would you want? With casino chips? With chocolate, chocolate coins? What, how would you have paid for Neymar? Transfer fees? Wages? This is just, but, but my, my issue is that you've got a lot of coolers then who will believe it. And they should not believe it because this is not true. You cannot sign Neymar. You don't have any money. You've got nothing. You can't even keep Lionel Messi at the club. So how can you even sign Neymar? Why do you say that to your fans? Why do you, why do you pretend this could even happen? That's why I don't understand because you're not telling them the truth. And I think this is wrong. Even if Neymar called and said, can I come back? You would have said, it's impossible, I'm sorry, we would love you to come back, but we can't. We financially, this is not possible. We can't pay the transfer fee and, and we can't even less pay your, your wages. So why saying that now, five, six months later, saying, oh yeah, 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 he didn't, you know, we tried, or he wanted to come, and then we didn't know the rules, we didn't understand them. This, I just, this is Barcelona we're talking about. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.